Hello everybody, welcome back to another Christianity video on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Luke 21 verses 25 to, to 33. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Alright. First off, let's, let's read it. There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nations will be in, in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. People will faint from terror and apprehensive of what is coming of the world. Of the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At the time, they will see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, please stand up and lift your heads. Because your redemption is drawing near. What this is trying to say is that before, let's talk about how Je before Jesus came and when Jesus is going to come again. It's like Jesus is the, cl the cloud that's coming down to us because right, Jesus is the Son of the, uh, of the living God, and He will come down and speak the words of God. And as you know from previous verses, it's talked about how Jesus the Emmanuel, which, which is God with us, because God is in Jesus. And let's not forget that God is the Spirit, and God's Spirit is in Jesus Christ. And He came to earth to speak to us. And let me tell you that Jesus was not perfect when He came down to earth. Jesus had had pains and sufferings. Jesus was poor, just just like the Jews and and African. He, he was a Jew, and when he came down, and and there's many signs in the Bible that that you can tell that this is that he is the Son of the Living God. And yeah, let's keep continuing on. Well, another thing is talk about redemption. And how and you know that redemption is like he he paid for our sins. It's like a huge receipt. Like let's say let's say the receipts like quadrillion dollars or how much people there is in the world. He paid for all that on the cross. Because it's like the one verse. Oh, the verse in the Bible talks about whoever b believes in Jesus and the cross, you shall be saved. And yeah, let's keep continuing. Anyways, verse. Let's go back there. Luke twenty-one twenty-nine verses thirty-three. He told them that this parable: Look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that. Summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. What Jesus tr trying to explain here is that even if the world is gone, the words of God, the word of God will never go away. Because it'll be in the hearts of people forever, and it'll sure them may not be able, if heaven and earth gone, they may not be people to remember it. But even if the little uh, word is still going around, and the world, the heaven and earth is remade, and people still remember that word, his will, his word is still alive. So, uh, what is it's trying to say it's his word will never pass away, which is the truth. And Jesus is the truth, and there is proof right there that that Jesus was real, and he is real, and he came to save us. All right, let's go ahead and pray. God, I'd like to say thank you. I'd like to say thank you for all the things that you've done for us. Thank you, God, and give you gratitude for let's live another nanosecond, another second, another minute, another hour, 
another day, another week, another month, another year, and possibly every uh, another decade. Because some people may not live in a nanosecond, so we're blessed that you gave us, let us live every nanosecond. We thank God for that. We thank you, God, for waking us up this morning. We thank you, God, for food and water. We thank you, God, for letting us have a roof over our head. We thank you, God, for all that. We thank you, God, to give you gratitude for you, our families, our friends, our best friends, and everybody who points to our lives after that, like our teachers, like, like our managers, our bosses, and like all the leaders. That our inner lives and that's important. But thank you, God, I give gratitude for that. But thank you, God, for blessing us, our families, our friends, the best friends, and all those people who poured into our life after that. But thank God for that. And please, God, we'd like to say, just like everyone else, we too are sinners in need of your help, glory, grace, and forgiveness. So help us, God, do all of that. Because we're suffering in sins. And we need your forgiveness. And God, please help all those people in need. Like the homeless. The heartbroken. The widows. The widowers. And all those people who lost people in their lives. And that are important. Key roles in their lives. All those people. Who are suffering in grief. And let them know that you, you are with them. Through those difficult times. At least God help help people who are suffering in the cold right now. Yeah, we like to say thank you for helping people, all those people in Kentucky through the tornado we covered a few weeks ago. Thank you, God, for helping those people. And this is in your name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. And God bless. And we, I hope you have a good New Year. God bless.